Hey guys, I'm Milan. Now I work in the media department here at Build With A&E. You may have heard my voice if you watched any of our backstories videos. What's the most useful piece of advice you've gotten since joining the construction industry? Was the construction industry what you expected when you joined? But today we have a special episode for you. We're touring Juice Cinemas, who specialize in home cinema and home automation. And they also have some really cool stuff to talk about. So let's go meet up with Richard to see more. Hey Richard. Hey Milan, how you doing? All good, all good. Thanks for inviting us. No, you're welcome. Thanks for coming. Can you tell us a little bit about Juiced and the space we're in right now? Yeah, absolutely. So Juiced has been around for 12 years. We're a home automation and home cinema specialist company, which basically means that we can handle everything in a house with a cable on it. So everything from your electrical, to the lighting, to the audio, the video, the security systems, and everything in between. So this space is our experience center. Mm. Uh, we built this a couple of years ago. We took a old showroom, completely gutted it, and built this to represent really an apartment. The entire thing was designed in virtual reality. Mm. So when we went and spoke to manufacturers or builders, we literally took an Oculus headset, oh, wow. put it on, they could walk around the space and see what it was going to be looking like because a lot of people say oh, we're going to build a, an experience yeah. center yeah but we we feel like we actually did it and you, you can show people and we tried to cram in as much tech mm. as possible but as discreetly as possible we didn't want people to sort of have it rammed down their throats mm. so it's all about really nice well-designed lighting or hidden equipment and things like this to show how home automation can complement people and their home and, and how they sort of go about their day-to-day -day life can you talk about this real quick yeah the, the racks so uh, you just caught me saying uh, trying to make it subtle mm. but you do have to have equipment it has to go somewhere and we thought well let's make it a feature so this is a custom built kitchen that we had mm. done we had the dimensions for all the equipment racks and everything that wires into it. The lighting system is all controlled by Lutron, pretty much the largest lighting control manufacturer mm. in the world, and it integrates to everything. And I heard you mention construction. Do you guys do it in-house? Is it external? How does that work? Uh, it depends on which bit it is. If we take a cinema room, yeah. we will do the vast majority of that construction in-house. Mm -hmm. So our guys are very good for general building timber work mm -hmm. and the layouts. We'll do all of that. Seats, can't manufacture our own chairs yet so we'll bring those in we've got a few different examples in here uh, these are Rosiki and then in the main cinema we've got Fortress which are handmade over in California mm -hmm. which you're, you're very dear to <laughs> and uh, and then flown in they're gorgeous and they will make anything we want the, the selection of fabrics and materials yeah. and colors are, are wonderful furniture wise mm -hmm. if it's very very bespoke piece of cabinetry we've got a, a cabinet maker he makes those for us mm -hmm. uh, and he'll do everything from a basic cabinet just to sort of house that yeah. and we'll do lots of moving walls or moving cabinets to hide yeah. equipment into so TVs that rise out of sideboards and things like that. Looks mm. cool and it disappears when you don't want them to. Oh, yeah, mm. definitely. And speaking so, of disappearing, I yeah. noticed looking up here with the lights, what is this specifically? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How have we done that? Yeah, so it's a ceiling coffer, yeah. quite simply. You see, really popular these days, mainly because you want light. Yeah. You need light in a space. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily want big glaring down lights and things like that. Yeah. So this sort of very diffuse lighting which is very indirect is what we do. This whole ceiling, it's timber construction. A lot of builders will build things like this now out of MF, so metal frame systems, mm -hmm. which is fine for just a frame system. The problem is as soon as you put some energy into it, i.e. you have speakers in it, it will rattle. If you're in the construction industry and you're thinking, I want to build a, a media wall or a room that's going to have some speakers built into the actual fabric of the walls, go timber. You know, belt, braces, screw it all together nice and secure because as soon as you start to put some energy through it and it vibrates, it sounds awful. There's nothing worse than spending a lot of money on some really nice speakers and really nice equipment if it's then detracted because something rattles away. So we've got everything from a lounge, a kitchen, dining room, a little snug and then a full-blown cinema. Mm. Do you want to go have a look at some of that? Oh, for sure. Let's, Let's go, go and have a look. So this is a great space and I can't help but think what all goes into making this happen, basically, yeah, with the home automation and the different wirings. The big thing is the, the time scales. Let's say wiring, for example, just as you're first fixing wiring. Electrically, you want to be first fixing for all your automation stuff. So your TV points, making sure 
you've got the right cabling for that. Mm. It's not just an aerial anymore, obviously. There's video distribution, there's control of it. Make sure all that goes in. To get this nice flush finished, you want to be thinking, well, do I want the equipment behind it? Or do you want to sink boxes into the wall, large boxes, to hold equipment? Mm -hmm. We've discussed the lighting already, that sort of really nice coffered ceiling. Windows are a massive thing these days. Everyone has a window covering, blinds, mm. curtains or whatever. But having a think about how you construct that ceiling to cover what could be quite an ugly curtain track, for example, or the blinds, so you build blind boxes above the windows so that when the blind is open fully, it just disappears. You have a really clean finish at the window. If you're thinking of the home automation route, even if you're not thinking of all the whistles and bells, get your home automation company and interior designer involved as early as early as possible to get this kind of thing built in, get mm. construction done, get your wiring in place, so you can all go forward. We've got a niche there. How's the wiring get to it? How's that being controlled? When we're then doing the lighting control system, you can change the use of the space using the lighting control because we've thought about all the different ways it can happen. This is now a working light. Mm. A lot brighter, you could, you know, kids could do homework on the table. And in the evenings, you can just relax and bring it all right back down again. And even do silly things like you need to sometimes change the colour of yeah. the space oh, yeah, for a party looks... because, you know, who <laughs> doesn't? <laughs>what do you think? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Running through the space, this cinema is uh, roughly seven meters by four meters, was the original space. Yeah. And if you imagine what we've done here, we've made a box in a box. We've then brought all the walls in, acoustic treatment on the walls and the ceiling, built the staging that you can see behind us, so that way you've got two rows of seating. Mm. You've got good sight lines, so you haven't got someone's head in front of you, basically. Speaker-wise, they're James Mavericks loudspeakers, which again, American company, and a 9.1.6. So what that means is you've got nine speakers around you, subwoofers, there's actually two dual 15 inch subs at the front, which oh. are awesome. And then the six overhead for your Atmos channels. For the projection, we've got a Sony in here. There's the 590. And then we've got a screen research motorized masking screen. So the screen itself actually moves. So you, know, you go to a cinema and you watch the trailers. Yeah. And then when the film starts, it goes wide. That's what this one does. So we can have the football on in here or something like that in, in 16 to nine ratio and then we want to and go out and uh, you don't have those black bars top and bottom. That's oh. the director intended it. Don't project it onto a white wall. <laughs> you just, you'd be amazed at how many times you hear that, no, oh, it'll be fine, it won't. Lighting control in here, and when we start the film, it's all automated, so lights dim, doors close, all that kind of stuff. It's, uh, it's really nice, really nice relaxing room. Yeah. In terms of uh, construction and mm. how long a room like this would take. Yeah, so a room like this, you'd be probably looking four to six weeks mm. uh, to build. Everything, yeah, you know, equipment, racks, programmed, the, the whole, the whole lot. It's not a quick job yeah. uh, to do it properly. It does, yeah, it does take a bit of work to get everything right. It's very, very customizable. Depends what the customer wants. You know, we've done ones with with lighting, without lighting, with different shapes, different seats. You have different themes, whatever you want. Uh, the materials on the wall, we do all of this in house. It's acutely transparent, mm -hmm. stretched fabric. So the mm -hmm. speakers are in the walls mm -hmm. and then we just stretch that fabric over the top of it mm -hmm. so you can't see the speakers but it comes through and there's no actual audible difference to it in terms of sound which is a really nice way of doing it quite a bit of maths goes into a cinema room in terms of the positioning you want to be a certain distance away from speakers they need to be at certain angles mm -hmm. uh, you know you need to know how far back the projector needs to be for the size of the screen mm -hmm. so the throw distance that's really important and i think the biggest question that i know <laughs> I'm, i want to know and i'm pretty sure everybody else wants to know how much? How much would this yeah. cost? It varies massively depending on the level of the specification that you're going to with speakers, projectors, seating. Mm. You know, it can really add up. This particular room as a turnkey solution, so literally empty box to this seats control system, yeah. is around about the £170,000 mark. Mm. Yeah, it's not cheap. A cinema would start normally at about 30000 and goes up from there. You wouldn't get seating for that, nor would they provide their own sort of sofas or whatever. Yeah. And it scales up from there. All boils down to space as well. You know, this has only got four seats. If you wanted one that did 10 seats, 20, but you can get a, you get a lot of use out of it. You know, oh. some people think, oh, you know, is it, is it really worth it? But it lasts a long, long time. You might have to upgrade things over time. Yeah, yeah of course. Know, projectors upgrade and equipment upgrades, but it's a fantastic investment to the room, and it mm -hmm. does add a lot of value onto a house. People love that wow factor, walking and seeing a space like this and going, yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool, mm -hmm. and go from there. Oh, and great. it's a lot cheaper to run than a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting us to this 
experience the different home innovations and automations we've seen. It's been amazing. Good, thanks for coming. Really appreciate your time. It's always important for us, at least as a channel, to promote how construction isn't just solely one thing you see someone building a wall or yep. building a house and that sort of thing, that there's so many different things that go into it. And so we thought it would be important to highlight something as cool as this, just, just to show people that there is a lot more to construction than meets the eye. Well guys, that's been the tour of Juice Cinema. Thanks again to Richard for having us. We've had a blast here and hopefully you have too. If you want, like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know down below where you want us to take a tour next. We appreciate your guys' support. It means the world to us, and we can't wait to see you in the next video. I'm Milan, and you've been watching Build With A&E. See you later.